Hey, what is going on, you deranged diglets? Coming at you with some mill action today. Thought I would finally go ahead and showcase this list for you guys. Um, pretty standard as far as mill decks go around the base engine. We got our Zations, our Sencinos. But when we look a little bit further, no Macargo, no Mewtwo. We do have the Mimikyu in here with the Impersonate to get a little bit uh, more milling in per turn. We can use that to, um, at the end of the game, impersonate a Bryson Man and mill for a little bit more. Or even in the mid game, we can like use it to use Caitlyn and Cynthia. Or... A yell grunt, which we do play four of, and the point of the uh, team yell grunts is um, is to to slow down ADP. ADP attaches one energy, then they attach another energy, then they GX attack, and that's when they put the pressure on us, drawing two prize cards a turn. But if we keep putting that first energy back into their hand over and over again, and then eventually get some crushing hammers involved and run them out of energy, they never get the GX attack. They never get to put the pressure on us by drawing two prize cards a turn, and then we eventually win the game. So four Team Yell Grunt in this build, four Crushing Hammer, and then the rest is uh, pretty straightforward. From there, we got Giraffe in here um, to help us beat uh, like Mewtwo decks sometimes, stuff like that. We got a Mew in here, protect our bench from like Tag Ball and stuff. Um, and then yeah, obviously four Dolls, three Bellaba Bryson Man. Got the pal pads, got the Caitlyn and Cynthia to draw cards. Acro bikes in here to stay aggressive. Find our stuff aggressively. Try and be as consistent as possible. Let's go ahead. Let's play some games. Let's uh, yell grunt some ADPs. All right, getting into our first one here. We're going to second. Our opening hand is pretty good, though. We got the Caitlyn and Cynthia to work with. We got the Orangaru star. We got the Zacian. Not going to bench Zacian because if our opponent plays something like a Theon, push it into the active where we don't want it to be, so we don't want that. I got a quick ball, a great ball, can get some Cincinos down, or some Mincinos to work and eventually get them into Cincinos, uh, so you know this, you know that, so on. Um, so that's the game plan. We're going to probably open up with the Caitlyn and Cynthia, discard the Bryson Man, draw three cards. We're taking a look at what our opponent's playing here, Tag Call, Lucario, I've been seeing a lot of Lucario Mel Metal decks recently, a lot of them. Um, I'm not quite sure how I personally feel about the deck, um, but I've been seeing, well, yeah. So of course, Lucario Melmetalization. I'm, seeing, I'm not sure how I feel about the deck personally, um, but I think it is definitely decent um, because of the ADPization matchup, of course. It does have a decent ADPization matchup. So, All right. Uh, like I said, I'm going to open up with that uh, Caitlyn Cynthia. Discard Bryson Man. Get it back later. Draw three. They have Metal Pokemon in play, so we could Friend Ball. We don't want a Friend Ball. We're just going to start with uh, these here. Giraffe shouldn't do anything, so we're just going to take the... Mimikyu going once again with the Acro Bike. Gonna grab the Cincino. Uh, now we're gonna Great Ball, Zation, um, Benchization, Quick Ball away. They could knock out our Zation, so I kind of want to keep the Zation. And Friend Ball doesn't find anything for us. And I actually want to keep this other Zation in the deck as fodder later on. Then we'll just get the Mincino here. Bench this, and then Trepid Sword for three. Got some good options there. All right, everything is looking great. We got three Cincinos. Just missing that other Mincino. The Ditto will become our other Mincino. We got a Lily's Poke Doll to work with. Still have this Orangaroo in the act. I'm not going to be doing very much. Probably just going to make do away the Zacian on the next turn. Uh, we can actually, in this matchup, we can go about the route of energy removal or just go to mill them. Um, and we want to abuse the energy removal for as long as possible. Um, but that really does all depend on our early game. So if our early game doesn't go that well, then we'll kind of stray away from that game plan. Not our early game, our early crushing hammers. That's what I meant to say. Our, it all kind of depends on our early crushing hammers. So if our early crushing hammers go really well, start limiting their energy early on, start getting some yell grunts in there maybe, completely stop them from being able to attack early on. We'll just keep resourcing back the crushing hammers and pal pads to get more yell grunts, and then we'll go about that route and kind of just run them out of energy. But if our early crushing hammers don't go so well, not hidden heads, bunch of tails, so on. Go down the route of just trying to mill our part. There's our recycle energy. Super cool to see that already. Uh, I'm going to make do away the Zacian, like I said. Get rid of that guy. Don't really need him. Great ball. Hoping for a Cincino or a Mincino. Not a Cincino. We got a Cincino. This goes down. Pokey Doll goes down. Could attach active. Don't have to. I definitely don't want a Bryson Man. There's no reason to do that. To do that. I think we're just going to go ahead and Intrepid Sword. Get some more cards. There are some Yell Grunts. No Crushing Hammers to work with yet, so uh, not going to be going the Energy Denial route, I don't think. We'll see how we our next couple make dues go. If we get some Crushing Hammers, hit some heads. We definitely look to going into the Crushing Hammer Yell, gun, yell Grunt uh, strategy. <laughs> it just depends on um, what our next turn looks like. Still do it. 
after next turn, if we haven't seen Crushing Hammers yet, we'll probably stray away from that and won't even worry about it. Um, here comes a Pokemon Catcher, probably looking to take out our Ditto with the Steel Fist. If I had to guess, they also could have taken out our Zacian with the uh, Brave Blade. That also would have been pretty good from our opponent. It makes me think maybe I want to keep my other Zacian around. I think we still have a Zacian in the deck, though. We have our third Zacian in the deck. I thought I saw him in there. So, I could just go ahead and get that and use that as well. And there's the concession. Not surprised. The matchup is pretty terrible for our opponent. Um, like we had two different, completely different routes that we could have gone to win the game, depending on our opening easy dub for uh for the mill here all right getting to another one we are going first the only thing we're really looking for on this turn one is the zation uh oh mew start got a friend ball got a great ball still definitely possible we can get that turn one zation out here we'll see um yeah, see what our opponent's playing see if we even have a chance um to get it going your opponent is playing uh, can't really tell for sure based on that. So I'm going to start with this great ball here. Going to get the Mencino. Yeah, no idea for sure what they're playing. I don't even know if I want friend ball. This goes down for sure. Going to bench this. I'm going to quick ball with the friend ball. I might want that yell grunt depending on what they're playing. Get ourselves the Zacian and then Intrepid Sword for some cards. And we'll uh, we'll go from here. We'll see. We'll see what our, what our opponents play. They open the Victini V. I would assume baby blounds, um, but it's very possible it is not, and it's something else. <laughs> so we're gonna wait and see. Here comes a welder down onto the Victini. All right, it's probably baby blounds with the Victini V. Um, yeah, there's the adventure back. All right, it's definitely baby blounds with the Victini V. There's no way it's anything else. Here we go. This matchup's pretty good. All we have to do is pretty much set up, attack, game over. That's it. That's all we have to do. Set up, or not attack, set up, use Bryson, man. And the game is basically over at that point. And just repeat, just kind of do that, repeat. Set up the doll here. Um, I am gonna go ahead and throw the, uh, let's we'll start with this. Gonna go ahead and make do away the Zacian. Go ahead and use the Acrobike after that. I might yell grunt, I'm actually not sure. I was like pretty committed to using it and now I'm not so sure. Gonna get another doll here, discard the Oranguru because we can get the Oranguru back with the Ordinary Rod. Get the Mencino down, throw this down, and I'm actually just going to Intrepid Sword, because we can just make do away the Yell Grunts, um, which is a little bit better, so, yeah, we're going to open up our next turn with Make Do, Yell Grunt, and then it's Caitlyn and Cynthia away the other Yell Grunt, get the other Yell Grunt back for more Make Do fodder, then we're going to Make Do away that, and so on. Uh, they do play the Fion, uh, they probably play the Cramorant as well, so we do need to get Mew back and on our bench at some point, actually as soon as possible, so I'm probably actually going to Ordinary Rod the the Mew back right now just so we can increase our chances to draw into it and we'll get the Orangaroo which is also something we want so go ahead grab those two back uh yeah make do one of the Yelguns first so we have more make do fodder um by then going uh Caitlyn and Cynthia discard this get it back draw three I'm not even gonna actually use crushing hammers here um I'm just gonna discard them uh just use them as uh, as fodder for the make do gonna get rid of uh, the Yell Grunt first, I think. Yeah, just get rid of Yell Grunt first. Grunt, got the balloon. We got a quick ball. So I can go and get the... At any point, they could Cramorant us. So I think I'm just going to go get Mew right now. Because at any point, they could Cramorant us. May as well be prepared for that. And then we're just going to Intrepid Sword here. Draw three. Yeah, not even going to use the Crushing Hammers. Maybe we could go with the Surge double Yell Grunt. But really, I just want to thin out our deck to literally nothing. And then Bryson Man, and then go from there. I do want to recover... Uh, three dolls at some point with the resource management so as soon as three dolls get knocked out i'm gonna go into the resource just recover three dolls back into the deck um so not this turn but i guess the next turn i'm gonna go with that because i do play field so we are gonna need double doll to handle the um the field we're gonna need double dolls and play at all times to handle field. not at all times but most of the time so yeah after they knock out this third doll we're gonna go go with some dolls back all right make do uh team yell grunt Make do Team Yell Grunt. And then we're gonna Caitlyn and Cynthia. I could surge Caitlyn and Cynthia. Because uh we might be able to get it. We probably won't get another Caitlyn and Cynthia though. So I'm just gonna surge uh not surge. Not gonna surge. Caitlyn and Cynthia. Just get back at Team Yell Grunt. Draw three. Bench a doll. And back at it. Intrepid sword. Draw three more. We're not gonna set up three Cincinos this game, because like I said, we need the double dolls in play, so. 
Not setting up a third since you know, but it shouldn't matter. We're pretty much drawing our whole deck here. We just need to get another Bryson man and we'll be good to go from there. And I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this one. We'll see what their quick ball gets here. I'm actually curious. They didn't save it to get Fion back. Um, there's a the Cram Ramp, but like I said, got that Mew, got that Bench Barrier Mew. That's why we got him out here to protect ourselves against the Cramorant. So they went after Cramorant. I don't think they realized that we got the Mew back already. Here comes another Welder. So they're trying to draw cards here. Um, yeah, they're trying to draw cards here. Maybe they play like Custom Catchers or something and they want to take a knock on Omnization, which would be pretty good if they can get it. Uh, there's a Quick Ball, get rid of an Egg. That's two Quick Balls down now. There's an Absol. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Not too bad though, because we can just put our Air Balloon. Instead of putting it on the Zacian, we can put the Air Balloon on the Cincino. So, yeah, there's the Energy Burst. Yeah, Absol doesn't really matter that much. Um, it cuts off just the Air Balloon on the Zacian, but besides that, does absolutely nothing. So, not a big deal. Alright, uh, make do... Hammers might be better later on. I'm just gonna get rid of the Pokemon search cards. I don't think I need those anymore. Make do quick ball. We have two Acrobikes. Doesn't quite deck us out yet. I'm gonna go Orangaroo. Cycle. Air Balloon on the active, like I said. Treat. And then uh, we do have that Caitlyn and Cynthia. There's no reason not to use it. I see. We could get into Caitlyn and Cynthia here card this we can actually deck ourselves out here draw three acro right, so i guess i could have surged here actually so we could have gone surge caitlin cynthia acro again get the orangaroo yeah so we could have surged here and got a bryson man off and then we're just gonna resource in three dolls that's it three dolls back into the deck and then pass over to our opponent they'll get this knockout and then we're gonna start using two bryson man every turn for the foreseeable future maybe the rest of the game and the game should end here in not too long of a time we're just gonna top deck we're gonna do a make do uh get a doll let's get the dolls into play go surge bryson man bryson man uh pal pad back surge and bryson man and then pass and then play surge pal pad back and surge and bryson man make do repeat 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 <laughs> we're just gonna keep going all right send up the Cincino. Draw for our turn into that doll. Gonna make do. Start getting rid of these crushing hammers. I'm not worried about trying to get rid of their energy at all anymore. And then a simple surge. Bryson man, discard top three. Bryson man, discard top three. Alpad, surge, and Bryson man. And then. Doll. Retreat to Doll, and pass. And then we will top deck, hopefully Surge. Oh, we have Surge actually in hand, so we can go play Surge. Um, if we top deck Surge, we play Surge. Uh, Pal pad back in two. I guess that never really works how I want it to work out, huh? There's the energy burst for 180. Goodbye, Doll, send up Sensino. Top deck, Surge. Play Surge. And I could put two back in the deck, which is make do right now. Make do away a crushing hammer. Get two. Get a Bryson Man. Play Bryson Man. Discard top three. Bryson Man again. Discard top three. And now we can go pal pad. Get back two Bellaba and Bryson Man. And then we can pal pad again. And we can get back a Bellaba, Bryson Man, and a Surge. And then actually we're gonna go bench a doll. Retreat to the doll. And then we're going to Intrepid Sword for three. And then we'll top deck that last one for our turn. And then once again, we will go Surge, Bryson Man, Bryson Man. And then we will resource management back in uh, three pal pads on the next turn. Or maybe two pal pads. Eh, probably just three pal pads. Yeah, probably just three pal pads. We're going to top deck a Bryson Man, Surge, Bryson Man, Bryson Man. Resource three pal pads. And we still have this if we need more Orangaroos, which we probably won't. Um, there we go. Knocks out our doll. Send up the Cincino. Top deck for turn. Surge. Bryson Man, mill three. Do it again. Bryson Man, mill three. Then we bench, attach. And I know it seems like a, too much fun is going on right now. Resource management. There's more fun on the way. Three pal pads back into the deck. 
and we repeat. We're gonna top deck a pal pad. We're gonna play the pal pad. Uh, put two Bryson Man back into the deck. Then we will make do twice. Uh, Surge, Bryson Man, Bryson Man. Uh, and then we'll play a pal pad and put two Surge back in the deck. So we're gonna go send up the Encino. We're off for turn. Play the pal pad. Two Bryson Man back into the deck. And then make do the Crushing Hammer. Draw two. And then we will make do the another crushing hammer because we just don't need them in this matchup. They're just not necessary. And then we go surge, mill three. And then we're going to repeat mill three again. And then we're going to put the doll down, play a pal pad for two Bryson man, and then play a pal pad for two surge. Uh, retreat once again to the Lily's Poke Doll, and then we will Intrepid Sword for three. And then next turn we'll have game. They only have five cards left in deck. Baby Blonde does not play a Shuffle Draw card. They don't have a Cynthia, Tate and Liza, Marnie. You don't play it because the deck doesn't need it. Because this matchup is so difficult to begin with, anyways, that there's really no point in playing it. So we're gonna end up with the dub here on our next turn. Surge, Bryson Man for three, Bryson Man for three, and simply pass. And that's Mill against Baby Blounds. It's this simple. Our opponent only managed to draw three prize cards throughout the whole game. Uh, and we could have even built nine cards this turn if we wanted to, but they only have four cards left. So we're going to build five more cards potentially on this turn with the Mimikyu as well. So we could have gone Surge, Bryson Man, Bryson Man, and then Mimikyu, copy of Bryson Man. Um, not necessary this game. Opponent with only those four cards right now. This card, that last one, and then pass, and we're going to win by deck out, which is what this deck does, and we get another dub. Getting into one final game here, picking heads. We did win the coin flip, that's pretty cool. We are gonna go first, see what we draw. No basics yet, it's all right. Put them back in, get us some new cards. Um, it would've been actually a pretty decent hit. It would've been okay, we had a quick ball, friend ball. So friend ball is only really good depending on what our opponent opens. Um, yeah, all right, let's see what we get. We got the Mencino, Giraffe, Mew. I think I'll open the Giraffe. The potential to be able to use Giraffe early on is pretty cool sometimes, so. Yeah, gonna open the giraffe. Uh, no Zacian yet, unless our opponent does open a metal Pokemon. Then we have the friend ball to copy the typing of their active and go get ourselves a Zacian. So it really all depends on what our opponent's active is here. It is a Charmander. So we can't, we have no fire Pokemon. I'm gonna attach here and I'm gonna go ahead and pass over to our opponent. So our opponent is playing uh, stage two Charizard deck. Pretty good matchup for us. There's a Victini. Doesn't really change things. Yeah, pretty good matchup. Their game plan is definitely just going to be set up the Victini and constantly just swing with the Victini over and over and over again. Uh, don't really attack with anything else. Um, there's a Sobble. So it is Charizard Inteleon Victini. Um, all right. Okay. That's fine. Yep. Game plan is going to be the same as it has been. Just going to set up our Cincinnos, get a Zation, mill ourselves out, and then. Um, Start to use the Bryson, man. I'm going to start with the Make Do before the Great Ball. Uh, make Do away a Friend Ball, because I don't think Friend Balls are going to activate in this matchup. Um, play the Great Ball now, because we can get a Sencino like this one. That's great. So here we go, Sencino. Then we're going to get rid of a, another Friend Ball here. Draw some more cards. One Zacian still. No Zacian. I'm going to go ahead and bench the Orangaroo. I'm gonna go ahead and get lost. I could attach the Orangaroo as well. Sure, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and get lost. We're gonna get rid of the Pokemon and the Cynthia. If they play an Ordinary Rod, that's one less Pokemon they can potentially recover. And if they play Palpad, they can't recover the Cynthia. It's basically the thought process behind getting rid of those two as opposed to the Quick Ball, which um, probably never matters, to be honest. So yeah, <laughs> they probably never recover the Quick Ball. So leave the Quick Ball in the discard pile. Uh, all right, they got into their Victini. There's a Spreading Flames, gonna get their fire back, which they might play Palpad because they probably play Welder, so we seem to assume that they might be able to get that back. There's a Quick Ball, finally, to get ourselves a Zacian. Gonna start with the Make Do, of course. Um, now we're gonna go into the Caitlyn and Cynthia because it discards one card, but we draw three, so now we have more discards options for our next thing we need to discard with, which is still the Make Do. Now our hand got a little bit awkward. Probably gonna make do away a quick ball because we need to get one more Mincino and then one more Cincino. There's the Mincino, so then the Great Ball finds the Cincino. Bench the Zation. Don't need to use the Quick Ball or the Great Balls or anything like that. And then we just go into the Intrepid Sword. Draw three cards. 
not using get lost this turn found our first doll gonna get that into our active on the next turn because we do have that recycle on uh the giraffe we can retreat we can just like set up since you know attached to it retreat to a doll there we go knock out our giraffe that's fine but i do want to leave the energy on this so we're not going to set up the orangu and attach twice and move it or something so send up the since you know draw for turn i'm gonna go ahead make do probably this guy so we can recover him with order ordinary rod if we ever want to um make do the yell grunt not gonna be any good anymore um go ahead start using acro bikes get the bryson man looking to thin out our deck here in like two turns get the pal pad acro again get the doll and then great ball get a sensino no not this time no sensino so we're still down a sensino for this guy but that's fine uh bench the doll attach active retreat into the doll and intrepid sword draw three cards all right we're getting close we have 14 cards left in deck we can hopefully draw six of them through make dues on our next turn and just get that third sensino uh, let's have prize too i didn't check my prizes I didn't, I didn't even really skim over my stuff, over my deck, when I searched through it. So it's very possible it is prized. I'm going to go ahead and bet, uh, say they're not, say it's not. I'm going to say it's in there. I'm going to find it. We're going to draw six cards next turn. Retreat to it all. Intrepid Sword. Next turn, deck out. Start milling. There's a consensus of our opponent. No surprise there. And that's just how this deck works. We're going to do the same thing we did in the last game and execute. That's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And peace.